Let's bring in our next warriors for the epic fighting heavyweight title. Introducing first from 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu, San Diego, and Team Hurricane Awesome. Please welcome Devin Simmons. Vaughn Simmons coming from 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu, San Diego, and Team Hurricane Awesome. Three and one. Fighting for the heavyweight title? Nice. Yeah, you know, when when you're looking for heavyweight training partners, they're, they're few and far between, so you always wonder, like, who are they training with to compare themselves to? And I, I really don't think you can find anybody that's as big as Greg Harvey. I mean, the guy's 6'8", walks around well over 300 pounds, so, you know, it, it's always I'm always curious, like, all right, who helped you get ready for this fight? Well, polar bear. <laughs> I mean, Absolutely, you, the, most wild animals aren't as big as this guy. So, but I mean, the same could be said to Greg. You know, I mean, you're not really going to find this guy as big as Vaughn, standing at 6'3", 247, high-level athlete. You know, uh, Vaughn has a TKO and a KO stoppage uh, in his fights. Uh, he's a huge athletic guy, big knockout power. Uh, while he walks around close to the heavyweight limit. Uh, this will be like the first time in his career well, he, where he's going to be the smaller guy uh, against Greg, you know. So um, these two guys are, are going to get in the cage, and there's not going to be nearly as much space as the uh, smaller guys. No, no, no. I hope that cage holds him up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, That's I, a lot I, of weight in that cage, Brody. Uh, shout out to the, the support staff that puts it together. I hope you uh, kept this cage with reinforcements. You know, the uh, last thing we want is to, uh, to get crushed in the fight. I'm running. I don't know about you. I'm not going down with the cage, Brody. Yeah, these are some big fellas right here. Super big. Ain't no way. And the walk means no way. And let's bring his opponent to the cage. From Victory MMA! Please welcome Greg the Beast Hoppe! And this guy right here might be the biggest competitor to ever step foot in the Epic Cage, standing at six foot eight. 280.4 pounds and a 3-0 record. This kid's a monster. Wait, 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 go back. He, what? Six foot eight? I'm interested to see who the referee is because with guys that big, they might not even realize that he's trying to separate the two of them. Jeez. P5, full bum. What tree his big ass fell from? Jeez. The one thing that, uh, that I'm noticing right off the bat is that uh, the weight was actually missed by Greg, so I don't believe this is a title fight. Um, it looks like Vaughn will actually be getting uh, a 10-round no matter what. Uh, Greg is going to deduct a point for missing weight. So it's kind of a, a little uh, twist that they use in amateur ranks because as a pro, if you don't make weight, you're going to get your, your first deducted. However, as amateurs, they don't really have any consequence for making or not making weight. So that was something that uh, he decided to. And shout out to Vaughn for still accepting the, fi the fight, regardless of, uh, you know, even though he, you know, followed up on uh, his end of the bargain. So this would be a good fight nonetheless. I'm excited for this one. I don't think this is going the distance, pimp. I'm not, I'm going to put my money on this not going the distance. I don't think both these big dudes got nine minutes of cardio. No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> when this fight starts, uh, these two giants are going to make the cage floor bend like a uh, like giant trampoline, you know? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't, that trampoline wouldn't bounce back up, bro. Are you crazy? Got Carlos Kramer. I like that, Jack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the big boys to let the leather fly. This is for the heavyweight epic fighting title. Three, three-minute rounds. Introducing your first warrior for 
fighting out of the epic Exotics Red Corner. This hand of mixed martial artist with a record of three wins and one loss. He stands 63 inches tall and weighs already 247.1 pounds. Representing 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu, San Diego, and Team Hurricane Awesome. Please welcome Devin Samuels. And his opponent, fighting out the bottom focus in blue corner. They fan the big flash on it with a perfect record of three wins and no losses. He stands six feet, eight inches tall, and weighs already 280 pounds. Representing Victory MMA, give it up for Greg the Beast. Instructions, John Romero. All right, John, we've already been over the instructions back in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all times, protect at all times. Butts, you want to test clubs, you want to do so now? It's about to get all right, wild. Let's go back to the fours and come out fighting. Crazy. All right, here we go. Let's make some noise. Now, do you think they go test clubs? A gust of wind from either one of these guys to knock somebody out. I don't want to be behind them for Augusta win. No, no, no. But look at both these guys, two, 265 and almost 300 pounds, and almost not an inch of fat between them. This is crazy, bro. You, you look at their frames, too, the, the density of their shoulders, their traps. They, these boys are big. See, I knew it. No touch, no hand touch. So low kick. Oh, yeah, nice. Backing them up against the cage. That's exactly what you got to do to... Well, oh, ooh. this is where that size difference come in. Von Simmons needs to get that underhook and get off that cage. Because Greg the Beast is, that's a big man. Jesus. Oh, nice knees. Nice underhook. Greg's doing all the right things. Von's doing all the right things. Ooh, <laughs> keeping them tight. Greg runs him against the fence and the whole cage shakes, ladies and gentlemen. I know, that's why I'm glad they way over there. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't want them nowhere near me, bro. This is crazy. Those big power underhooks. And the ref calls for more work. Separates them and let's we'll see if they engage. I want to see one, just one. Somebody land one and go to sleep. Oh, oh. Vaughn looks to grapple, not a bad idea considering the size differential. You make uh, Gray grapple a little bit and takes uh, a little bit of a zip off of his punches. Guys this big, the gas tank is gonna slow them down very, very quickly. And with a minute and a half left to go, it'll be interesting to see how this round plays out. If Vaughn can pull that head out, and get to he can almost get to his back from here. Look like he's wearing Greg out because Greg, it doesn't look like he's ready for this kind of pace and for that heavy wrestling. We're both sitting there taking deep breaths right now, just kind of resting on the cage. Greg's looking for the single. He needs to bump and rip against the cage. That's how you get that uh, momentum. Ooh, and the round's over. I'll have to give that round to Vaughn. He, yeah. he brought the action. He kept pushing the pace on Greg. He couldn't complete a takedown, but you still get points for takedown attempts. And neither one of them really threw no strikes. Yeah, I, I want to see the big man strike. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they just meet in the center of the cage as a fight fan. You know, I mean, I'm wondering what their corners are telling them right now. I know what they're telling them. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> Bomb with a nice push kick to the chest. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to hit his body a little bit, or Bomb's trying to hit uh, Harvey's body a little bit to take the wind out of him. 
Yeah, the Beast is just trying to really put his weight against it. He's really letting him know, like, I'm bigger than you. But Von's sticking in there. He's showing him, like, no, bro. This technique is what jujitsu and wrestling and fighting is all about. It's not just about you're bigger than me. You got to be better than me. I still still want to see if nobody get knocked out, though. Absolutely. I, you know, with guys this big, there isn't a person in this in this room that's looking for anything different. I just don't want them to come by me, though, still. I'd like to see a couple feints out of both of them. Nice. Nice one, two by Vaughn. I don't think this is very well for Greg. He, he, he doesn't look like he has that wrestling. Look at him getting all the way around. Under the hook. He has to get Tink down and give a team tip. Greg a little too big for that, I think. Nice knees. Knee to the body. He should just be breaking him down right now. I'd be trying to drag him down right to the floor. Get that front headlock sequence going. And all this grappling really brings the lactic acid into your arms. So then when you separate and you're trying to throw punches, it just it just feels like you're swinging weights. Oh, yeah. Well, look at Greg. He's just using power. He has no technique. I mean, no bend in his knees. He's almost vertical in his lower half. So you can't expect for him to pull somebody's base out from there mm, and nice that tall. Nice body by Vaughn. So Greg's just wasting energy and power. Vaughn's just buying his time. He needs to throw some strikes and get working. He's attempting that good team one more time. If he can pull it, separate. If he needs to pull, he needs to pull that elbow a little higher. There you go. Put it to the cage. Oh, those knees are starting to hurt, Greg. You can tell he's nice. reacting to every single one of them. Because he can't defend them. Nice. Nice. Ooh, that's Beautiful. A, those are big knees. Greg's hurt. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. If he can keep on sliding these knees, he can bring him down. Beautiful. David versus Goliath. Bring the big man down. Greg's leaning forward right now. Vaughn could snap him. I'm pretty sure at this point, Vaughn could pick him up and slam him if he wanted to. And both big men are breathing real, real hard. I don't know who we scored for the first round, but that's guaranteed a Vaughn Simmons round. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, at this point, Greg is just hoping that he can land that haymaker, which both of them have. Right there, one, two, one, two. And just look at those power underhooks. He's controlling the big man with just perfect technique. Now with the guillotine threat, he has him just stuck there and he just has to eat these knees to the body. Nice, sharp knees. Beautiful. Yeah, I think. Two or three more knees right to that liver right there. Perfect spots. He, he might could bring him down. Vaughn's already proven that, that he has a little bit of an advantage in the grappling right now. It, if I'm him, I, I, I throw a couple punches to keep Greg, Greg's hands high, and then I look in for the shot. You don't want to shoot a double on a guy that big. you got to kind of look for a single because it, it takes a lot of energy to finish on a big fellow like that. On the other I'm hand... Not even though an attempt to try to take that big man down. I like my back. You heard him before. My neck, my back. That's what happens when you try to take somebody that side. If so I'm Greg right now, I take the center of the gate the and just swing those lunch trucks and gloves out of it. This incredible heavyweight battle. Bro, serious. What size glove do you think he wears? Oh, sit down. Probably Let's a little empty this. here. The camera officials have to tell him to sit down. That one hurt. Greg's looking for that right hand. Oh, Ooh. nice. Lance clean. No trade shots. Oh, and they clinch up. Greg needs to separate right now. He was having a little bit of success with the striking. Right now, Greg is his own enemy. He can't grapple. So why are you putting a grappling exchange in? That, that makes no sense. It has to be a higher fight IQ. You landed a good strike. Why are you pushing this guy against the cage? You're down two rounds, bro. It's not going to help you at all. You're not going to submit the guy. You're not going to get a finish right here. You're just holding on. Yeah, if anything, he just needs to get better head positioning. He, Greg has his... Uh, 
Ooh, groin shot. Got to guard the McNuggets. Got to guard the McNuggets. And here's a time where if I'm Greg, I hope Vaughn uses every single minute of this break. Especially with a big man like that, you need some air. Oh, we're getting a good language behind this. F him up. F him up. That's what I heard. Yeah, Greg's had a little bit of success with that right hand. Maybe a jab to the body, right hand upstairs. But he, he needs something big right now. Uh, Gary just needs to sell out at this point. You have maybe a minute left in this fight. Take a couple deep breaths. Blow, blow your tank out. But don't let the little guy just sit back and take your part like he is right now. Ooh, and they are going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Greg needs to push Bond's away. looking for the takedown. Greg's looking for the, the guillotine. 45 seconds left in this round. That's a large order for that double, homeboy. That's more like a double-double. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jeez. That re the referee is calling for action. Vaughn can... I don't even think he wants to take that. He's just playing it safe right here. He knows this guy can't get him from here. He can't lean on him, and he's... 10, 10, 15 seconds to go, so he can just ride it out at this point. Vaughn needs to rock Greg against the cage and rip out the single right now. Get that takedown! And... Bink! That was a better third round for Greg. He came out a little bit more on fire with a more initiative, but MMA IQ, it's high. You, you can't, see he comes out, he's gonna land a couple good strikes, and then he's going to a grappling, see right there, why are you going to a grappling exchange? You're behind two rounds. There's no grappling. Yeah, he lands a couple, both of them landed a couple big right hands right there. It shows to me, it was just the technique difference. Vaughn was a more of a technician than Greg. Greg was, as his name said, a beast, big man, big powerful guy, but when that technique comes in and this little guy's not gonna bow down to you, it's a pain. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, the best thing about amateurs is you can win or lose, like we said, and it, it doesn't really, uh, you know, impact you in the future. Uh, and sometimes a loss is a good thing for guys, you know. I mean, especially when you're like Greg and you just smoked everybody your first few fights. Now you can go back with a high-level coach and, and say, okay, we, we obviously need to work on some of the connecting pieces for MMA. Exactly. You don't lose, you learn. As long as you learn. Today he learned his work on that cardio, keep his weight down, and he's gonna get in some grappling exchanges, but and work those hands, because I mean you can you can tell he's just a guy who just pushes you around and tries to I mean he's a he's a giant human being. So I mean there's still all the potential in the world. I mean, especially for heavyweights, you know, you can put a couple good wins together and wind up in the UFC, you know. I mean, it, it's exactly. not like the lighter weight classes where there's so much competition. You know, no, very few people go up in weight classes. Everybody cuts down. So the heavier the weight class, the less competition there is there. Yep, and that, with that being said, Greg, I'm just talking. You a little bit too big for me to be talking too much shit to you. <laughs> so you know what I mean? You need some jujitsu? Nah, not really. I'm Tim Planet, homie. That's right. Carl was Kramer coming up with the uh, results of the fight. That go jacket. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these two heavyweights. What a ball! After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Glenn Paulson scores around 
3027. Jed Carlos Eduardo scores about 3027. And Felicia O scores about 3027. For your new epic heavyweight champion, Devin Sanders! All right, I'm with the new epic fighting heavyweight champion, 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu San Diego, Team Hurricane Awesome, Devin, tell me how do you feel and how does it feel to have the incredible support of all of your team? It feels absolutely amazing. <laughs> I guess. Manny, Manny wants him to sing. Manny's got a song. I know it. I know it. This is your moment, baby. Tell us. Tell us how do you feel after all the challenges, the obstacles you've come against, to have so many people believe in you and to become our heavyweight champion. This is just the result of all the hard work we put in. Me and my entire team from top to bottom, from the coaches to the fighters, to the friends and the fans, everybody who's been here with me every step of the way, everything I said no to, every time I've stayed inside, I woke up early, 5 a.m. runs, like 8 p.m. runs after practice, three miles on miles on miles at a time. It feels absolutely amazing have these people right here with me. Ladies and gentlemen, our epic fighting new heavyweight champion, give it up, Devin Simons, ladies and gentlemen.